Hey there, I'm Said. If you remember from the last time, we created game mode for our VR character and also we created blueprints that can control our VR character with uh, the controller. We can move a little bit with a constant speed and without any fancy stuff, just you have a uh, depth of field as effect of the camera. In this episode, we would like to add a hand controller to our character, but the simple one without animation yet, just to make it simpler as if um, one lecture. Here, the things that we need to do before uh, we are adding that hand is if you remember, we already added offset to our camera and we should remove it and add it to our VR offset. We created that offset to be able to offset everything related to the uh, head mounted display in the same way. And it's very simple. In C++ code, just copy paste the line that you add the relative location and change the um, object with the VR offset. But the, when the code compiles, you can see that the change is not happening in the blueprint because it's using the, the modified value for that object. You should just uh, reset everything. And as you can see, we have in the same position, just instead of having it on camera now, we have it on VR offset object or component. Okay, that's good. In order to have the hand uh, inside uh, our character, we, use, we should use something called motion controller. The motion controller can receive the information from the controller or any other input source uh, from our uh, head, mounted set, head mounted display setup or our VR setup and pass it uh, into our uh, character as a variable that can be converted into any object. For example, it can be hand, it can be box or anything else. In order to use that, we add another component to our class uh, from the uh, type of U-Motion Controller and uh, call it uh, right motion controller and left motion controller for now. Maybe later uh, we will change them, but for now it's fine. And it can be again visible anywhere and blueprint read only and uh, the category of the component. Also, I would like to have a control over uh, the positioning of them as a general control, uh, something like VR offset that we have. And here we create uh, another sim component and call it um, hand controller offset or something similar that uh, gives us the possibility to move both hands together. Okay, good. Uh, also, as you know, similar to anything else that we create in C++, we should uh, create a default sub-object for them. For example, first we create a default sub-object for controller base. It's from type using component and the name is uh, controller base. Here I'm also using uh, GitHub Copilot. It's very interesting tool, however, it's not free in general, but if you're a student, you can use GitHub uh, free uh, account and it will give you the access to uh, GitHub Copilot for free. It can automatically generate the codes for you without extra effort and it's very handy. Uh, for example, here, as you can see, it's automatically recognized the, um, uh, some suggestion for my code that is almost perfect. Okay, we are attaching the controller base to the VR offset. And then uh, we will uh, create a default sub-object for right uh, motion controller and also the left motion controller. And as you can see again, the GitHub Copilot can easily suggest uh, the very good uh, recommendation. The important point about the motion controller, it's, it needs tracking motion source because uh, it's receiving the information from the controller and you should tell it from uh, which components of your VR setup you need uh, this information. For example, is it the right controller or it's the left controller? And it should be entered as F name or as a text. Uh, inside the blueprint, you have also a uh, drop down menu that you can uh, select from it. Okay, now we have uh, our code and we can try to uh, build it. Uh, but when we uh, build our code, uh, we can see that uh, we receive an error. 
Such a this error uh, happens when you have not defined the module inside your uh, C++ build script. In order to do that, just go to the uh, VR character that build that CS file and add the module for the head mounted display here. Perfect. Now, if you build your code, you will see that it will build easily. Great, now we have our controller base and as a child of it, we have our right hand controller and left hand controller and all of them are child of VR offset. But we cannot see these objects because they are just uh, some sim, com sim components that uh, without any shape. In order to see something, we can add two spheres uh, for each one of these um, contro motion controller. I just give them a certain color to be distinguishable from the other and uh, be able to see them in the gameplay mode. Uh, for the left hand, I choose the orange color default material, and for the right one, I use the green color. As you can see, when we go into the game mode and uh, we active our controller, we can see both of them in the scene. And it's very interesting. Also, we have our movement. And later we can add some uh, feature to this uh, simple motion controller that we added to our class. But let's add some additional functionality to it. First, uh, we uh, change their name to be more distinguishable. Um, one of the things that I provide for you in this uh, video is a free hand model that you can use. Also, uh, we will later uh, assign animation to it and uh, using a, rig, a control rig system in the Unreal Engine to use the animations and it would be very interesting. I will uh, just add them in this lecture as a sample, but later we will have a lot of things to do with them. Uh, the only thing is when you add them, you will see them, they are very small because the, we already scaled the sphere. You need to change the hierarchy and hide the sphere, uh, then uh, rescale them to one to see them in a correct size. And also after you add uh, the hands, you need to rotate them in a correct angle that you want that hands appear in the game. These hands already uh, are uh, blueprints type because they are not a simple skeletal mesh. They also have some nanite components similar to what you saw in the Valley of Ancient demo by Unreal Engine that uh, the skeletal mesh has had some nanite component. The detail on the hand uh, are from type of nanite component. As you can see, we jumped and it's a bug in the current version that we will fix in the next lectures, uh, but just uh, as a short demonstration, you have the hands now. They are almost very detailed and uh, yeah, they are ready for animation. You can also pull the project from the GitHub repository that I post uh, under the comment uh, in the comments of this uh, video. Feel free to use it and also let me know about your thoughts. What do you think about these hands and what do you think about this video?